the Cow Palace in San Francisco come 20,000 spectators for the grand finale of the Grand National Rodeo, winding up an exciting year of action in the Wild West tradition. The Cow Palace on the outskirts of San Francisco. Built 75 years ago for livestock shows and rodeos, it's a concrete barn frozen in time. Back in July in San Francisco, the Republicans held a convention. As hard as it is to believe now, the Republicans held their national convention here in 1964. So help us God, that is exactly what a Republican press president will do with the help of a Republican Congress. And then in the 70s and 80s, the Cow Palace was the place to go for arena rock shows. But this week, the Cow Palace is hosting the National Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses. So what do these conventions mean to you? Well, it's an opportunity for Jehovah's Witnesses from around the area to get together. It shows how big our organization is, that it's not just in a unique area or county or city, that really we're an international brotherhood. And you see people from different backgrounds and different uh, ways of life. And just things that you wouldn't normally see if you're just sort of stuck in your own town. And it, it just shows uh, how diverse uh, Jehovah's Witnesses are. And it just sort of brings us together. It's an enjoyable event. The highlight of the Jehovah's Witnesses convention on Saturday has to be the baptism held in an above ground pool on the side of the stage. One member from each congregation in the Northern California region is chosen to embrace their faith in front of the entire convention. Some baptism candidates are a little nervous, but everyone gets in the pool. It's an ancient rite performed in a thoroughly modern setting in front of plenty of smartphones and iPads, all capturing video. This has been Bob Calhoun, Shattering Conventions.